I'm naturalist Marty, come along on this virtual hike. We're gonna find wildlife using nothing but the tracks they leave behind in the snow. A fresh coating of snow is great for a little wildlife tracking. Look at this. Just like an eastern cottontail, the hind legs of a fox squirrel land in front when the, when the animal's moving in that direction. So jump, and there they are again. And boop, there they are again. The eastern fox squirrel. White-tailed deer, easy. Two toes, one, two, going that way. Here's a big sit mark from an animal, but what animal? I can tell it's a mammal, and then boom, we've got ourselves a, a paw print which is shaped like a hand. Can you see the thumb and the fingers? The thumb and the fingers. This animal actually has an opposable thumb. It's an opossum, and as North America's only marsupial marches and waddles along. It scrapes its tail and drives it home as a positive opossum ID. There's many more living species inside of a dead tree than compared to when the tree was actually alive. And woodpeckers know it. There was a downy woodpecker here just digging in there with its beak, pulling out food. This is a dog track. One way you know you're looking at a domestic dog track is they're just huge. Typically you can see all the nails and the animal just sort of wanders about. And these here are tracks from Ohio's largest wild dog. It's a coyote. So slightly rectangular, pretty large track. You can see the two nails in front, slightly offset as it walks. And there it is, Woo! way in the distance. I tracked this coyote. Oh, there you are. This animal shows up in suburbs and in the city. Nothing to worry about. I can tell it's a coyote. Its tail is pointed slightly down, ears up. Long snout staring right at me. There you go. It's no easy task looking for wildlife with their tracks alone or any other evidence left behind. But that coyote was oh so primo. All right, I'm Naturals Marty. Thanks for coming along on this virtual hike. Get out there, make your own observations.